Go to the forecast. Meteorologist KJ Jacobs is standing by. Guys, feeling great outside. 70 degrees right now? Nice. Very nice. Yes. You guys wait until the end of the week. So Thursday, I'm Friday now. into Saturday. Take me there now. Yes. <laughs> Think about pulling out the sweaters. I yeah. Dare I say sweater weather? Wow. Sweater weather. Yes. That's a bold statement. You heard it. It depends on what your threshold is for a cool down. So we're talking 70. 50. Doesn't take 50s. much. <laughs> Listen, after, after being in the 90s for months, I'll take 70 whenever I can get it. Okay, really? so that's your cool down. Yeah. All right, well, let's jump into the forecast for tonight. For most of us, conditions are pretty calm at this time. We did have a few showers and thunderstorms out there earlier this evening, as we see it here live from our Carolina Camera Network. Now, notice the shower I've been tracking here over the last half hour. It is continuing to dissipate. We do have some showers coming in on the light end of the spectrum right now. Now overhead in Pageland, we had some heavier downpours coming into town, but notice it's quickly breaking up as it's moving into Chesterfield County. Now, by and large, most of you are dry at this point of the night and will continue to dry out overnight. Check this out. The rain chances will be back for Tuesday and Wednesday. This is all part of a cold front that is going to drive up those rain chances. Not likely to be widespread, but we could once again have pockets of heavy rainfall as we move into Tuesday afternoon, evening and early Wednesday before we dry out for the second half of the week. Now the showers and storms we had today driven by a stationary front. This front has been stalled across the area for a couple of days, driving up the shower and storm chances similar to what we had last night and once again today. Now today, most of you stayed dry. You may be wondering like, we didn't have any rain today. Well, the mountains and the foothills had showers and then across the metro, we had some showers around sunset. But here's the change. A secondary cold front will move through by Tuesday, Wednesday and clearing out into Thursday. This is going to bring not only cooler temperatures, but drier air is not going to be as muggy for the second half of the week. So we'll have lower humidity and the brown shading here indicates we're going to go from more of a tropical to a, a moist atmosphere to more of a drier one and to really spell it out for you. Take a look at the dew points. This is a good measure of moisture in the atmosphere. So today and tomorrow we're looking at more of a humid setup, but notice Tuesday, Wednesday, similar. Thursday, this yellow line is going to drop as well as Friday. That'll put us more in the refreshing and comfortable range as opposed to the muggy range. Going forward here, I want to turn to the tropics right now. No major changes with Hurricane Lee, which is good news. This works in our favor because the forecast track is remaining pretty much the same as it's likely to make a turn towards the north and past Bermuda just to uh, the west. It could still bring some rain, some dangerous surf as well to Bermuda. However, we'll look at some dangerous surf and higher rip current risk right along the east coast even here in the Carolina. So we'll keep an eye on it, but we do have an increasing risk for uh, rip currents as we move into Wednesday as well as Thursday. So you'll want to monitor the beach conditions if you do have plans to be along the coast. Your forecast tomorrow, it's going to be a gorgeous one. Sunny skies, have the sunglasses, warm temperatures as the kids are back to school on Monday. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s, a little muggy out there. It could feel closer to 88 to 90 once you factor in the heat index. The Guy Roof and 7 Day Forecast, check it out here. So the warmest day of the week will be on Tuesday at around 87, 88. Notice the cool down behind the cold front. Upper 70s for afternoon highs. That'll take us some, say, 5 to 10 degrees below average. And overnight lows will be in the 50s.